it's Matt Heaton and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the bazooki and we're going to start off talking about some right hand stuff or some strumming hand things depending on whether you're right or left handed. Uh, one of the things that I like to do on the bazooki is I try, I really try to differentiate the way I approach it uh, with the, the right hand from the way I approach the guitar on the right hand. So in other words on the guitar I do a lot of you know big strums and where I'm really hitting all the strings uh, and I use a very light pick and it's a very kind of thwacky uh, approach. The bazooki, I try to, I try to not do that. Uh, I try instead to do um, more kind of cross picking patterns and some things to, and, and more of a kind of, almost like a linear approach, I guess. Uh, I use a much thicker pick than I use on the guitar. This is a big old, you know, what is that thing? It's like a, Wigan bluegrass pick of some of some massive proportion, and um, so one thing I'm going to show you is just the the basic pattern that you can a couple a couple patterns you can practice in the in the right hand. So one is now I'm tuned G D A D, but it doesn't really matter because I'm we're gonna we're just gonna do this okay. In, so instead of going waka 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 waka, we're gonna go down up down up and it's on the fourth string second third first so you're going you're still going down up 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually give you a close up here, technically. When you start getting it up to speed, it begins to feel a little more rhythmic, right? It's not like, ik, 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 but you start to get a little bit more of a flow with it. And as you noticed in my example there, it can become a little less precise. Um, but that's can be okay. Like it doesn't, you're not really necessarily looking for, you're, you're not looking for like a, a very, like a precise finger style pattern or, you know, some sort of like a, you, what you're really looking for is to kind of spread the notes out a little bit. Now, if you're playing, um, Again, I'm in GDAD, and so if you're playing in the key of D, a lot of times you mightn't you mightn't be using that low string uh, for for a lot of the times. So I adapt it by I'm, my hand feels the same, but what I do then is I play the third string, downstroke on the third, upstroke on the second, downstroke on the second, upstroke on the first. So you're kind of you're doing you're hitting two on that A string. Um, and what that ends up sounding like in context is I you can it allows you you got the big downstroke on the you know the beginning of each group um, keep that pattern going as a basic thing and then you know of course get away from it um, you know it, it, no one really wants to hear you play every single eighth note of every single tune um, so you kind of you know you can kind of once you get the basic the basic thing then you can you know leave notes out Kind of it, it 
sculpt that pattern to to what you need it to be for for the tune. So that would be kind of a, that would be for a reel. Um, and again, just that's it's to avoid going and just having this kind of because the bazooki the bazooki can be pretty uh, overpowering if you if you you know it's a mighty sound. Um, now for a jig, same kind of thing. Uh, my normal, so for my normal jig picking is down, up, down, 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 down. And when I'm playing a jig, let's see. Um, to a down, down, up, down, up, down, da, da, ba, dee, down, down, up, down, up. So I'm not, I'm hitting down, down, like there's three down starts, down, down, down. The first, so if you think of a jig as being in two groups of three, right, down, up, down, down, up, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, the first group of three is taken up by two down strokes, down, 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 where you're just not hitting the upstroke. Down, up, down would be what you're normally doing. But you're going down, down. And then the second group of three is down, up, down. Or maybe down, up, up. Sort of depends on the speed, but so this would be down, down, uh, down, 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 up, up, down, down. So you're just kind of dragging through that. Let me show you again close up. Down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up. So the up becomes, it's a sweet picking move where it's all in one motion. You're not going like two different motions. If that makes sense. So in context, um, you know, um, any kind of picking picking pattern uh, you don't want to be a slave to it it's just it's to give you a framework and then you can leave it as soon as you want to do something that doesn't really make sense in that pattern Does that make sense so if you're you know you're you're starting out with that pattern and then you find like that you want to do some sort of run or you want to do play you know, just break out of that pattern or something like that then then yeah, by all means, get out of the pattern. Um, it's it's just to give you a little bit of framework. And again, it's just like I'm just I'm looking for ways to sort of spread the notes out a little bit rather than hitting them all at once, like in a you know big old chord, you know, going that kind of thing can go a long way to not having it sound like an auto harp. <laughs> um, so. So that's that's my those are my right hand tips. Oh, the other right hand tip, yeah, doing it muting the strings is always really good when you're practicing right hand stuff because it can just clarify what's actually going on. Uh, the this tuning can cover a multitude of sins because it's I mean, who doesn't want to just hear that all day? That sounds fantastic. Um, so it's easy to it can you can get sloppy. But it just still sounds so nice that you don't, you know, maybe don't mind. So if you're actually trying to practice, um, I find the best way to practice practice is muted and metronome to just keep you keep you really honest about what you're doing. 
or if not metronome, play along with some tunes um, so that you're kind of putting it in some kind of context. I will be the first to admit that not everyone wants to spend their, their, their Saturday night going. Though it obviously is, is great fun. Um, but anyway, so that's those are a couple ideas for the right hand. Hope that that's helpful. Um, if you if you would like to ask any questions or have any any thoughts to contribute, just you know leave me a, leave a comment down below, as they say. And thank you to thank you for watching. Take care.